G'day. Welcome to Australia Us. This is the fifth part of our discussion with Father Rod Bauer. Today we'll be discussing the Central Coast Council and his views. Um, so with the Central Coast uh, where we are today, uh, not having a council and going through an administrator, yes. it's almost a reset um, which allows us to start again. When we get our council, what do you envisage that council looking like and trying to achieve in the future? I mean, councils have got to do stuff. You know, they've got, <laughs> they've got to make the, you know, water run when you turn the tap on and the toilet flush and, and all that sort of stuff. But, um, but it's more than that. You know, the council, the, the local government has higher responsibilities than just making sure the garbage gets picked up. All of that. Uh, there's a social responsibility. Um, the, the Central Coast is... When I came to the Central Coast 25, 6 years ago, it was the most Anglo-Celtic population in the country. Yeah. Um, now, it's still pretty, pretty much there. It was when I went through school. But that is changing. And I, I believe that the Central Coast has the unique opportunity to become a more diverse society in an intentional way. Uh, it, it, in other places, it, it's kind of just, just happened and they've kind of, you know, tried to manage it the best way they can. And the Central Coast has the opportunity, because we know it's happening. I mean, we yep. know right. it's becoming more diverse. Um, people are moving up from Western Sydney um, to find, you know, um, more affordable, slightly more affordable find this. housing to find this. <laughs> um, so the, the political leader, the local political leadership on the Central Coast has this unique opportunity to form pathways to create an intentionally diverse and flourishing community here on the Central Coast. It's a unique opportunity. Yeah. And I hope that they don't miss that chance. Uh, and that's about having programs and, and pathways, uh, ways of celebrating that diversity, um, and, and of course all uh, laid on that foundation of this is, this is dark and drunk country. Yeah. Uh, this is country that has never been seeded. This is, this is country that uh, has its own DNA, its own songs, its own way we of We still have being, connection to land and waterways. You know, and, and we've had some, some great um, uh, ways of highlighting that and engaging with that, the Five Lands Walk. Yeah, that is great. Thing. For instance. Five um, Lands Walk is great. You know, uh, and those early discussions, I'm very proud to say, happened in the backyard of the, of the rectory uh, up on the hill uh, here. Uh, it's become an extraordinary, um, uh, and, uh, uh, and that, to, to hang on to that, to celebrate that, um, and to create those pathways where diversity can in be s engaged and celebrated. Uh, we have the, uh, the, the natural beauty, if we have the political will to create a society that, in which everybody can flourish, then what a great place the Central Coast is. Thank you very much for listening today. Please hit like and subscribe. That was part five of our discussions with Father Rod Bauer. Part six will be discussing are we the lucky country?